Uh, you talked a lot about, uh, and I and you I, tell I, me, Dave. I just I, Taylor, I, I, Taylor. Sorry, Taylor. Taylor? Uh, yeah, Taylor. Uh, um, you talked a lot about the assets in the state, and you went through this very passionate. And I agree with you. Being born and raised in the state, I feel really passionate about it. And keeping young people here. Um, how are we going to utilize these assets? Uh, you really spoke a bit about the tomato plates, in Madison, and how well that's doing because right. the energy costs. But also, they're growing locally, which is something that's that this state has the ability to do. How are we going to use our assets, like our woodlands, our streams, our lakes, in a way that it's going to be effective? Great question. Uh, because the assets we have are mostly, aside from people and the places of character, the assets we have are in Maine are mostly natural resource based. Forests, our agricultural lands, particularly in Rustic, but also in Piscataquis, Wisconsin, all the way through the state. And the Gulf of Maine. The Gulf of Maine is not called the Gulf of Nova Scotia. It's not called the Gulf of Massachusetts. It's the Gulf of Maine. And, and we've spent a lot of our time and money and effort over the last uh, <coughs> decade, at least, trying to be things that we're not going to be. Forgetting about what our competitive advantages are. Investing willy-nilly in sort of wannabe, should have been, you know, stuff that ain't coming here, folks. Shouldn't come here. What is here, our competitive advantages, are what we ought to invest in. Now, what do you do? The, reason, the reasons why potato farmers in Worcester County are having trouble right now is because there's only one process. Big, big problem for potato farmers, right? And, and that processor, McCain Foods, hasn't given farmers a price yet. So they can't order their seed. Big issue. And, by the way, they can't get credit. Why do we have only one processor? Because the price of electricity is prohibitive. Why aren't we processing more shellfish and fish in the cost of electricity? Why are lumber mills and pulp and paper mills in Maine marginally successful, even though our output is way up? We could be doing much, much more. Paul's right. I mean, we're producing more fiber than we've ever produced in our, in our lives in Maine. But we're not doing what we could do because they're in towns where there's no natural gas line and because the cost of electricity is too high. And you can go on and on and on. The price of electricity is the biggest problem in Maine today. And it is, it is the biggest brick in the wall. We can transform our state if we can crank down the price of electricity. And it's going to, that I believe it's what's going to, what's going to really move the natural resources economy. All of those competitive advantages that you, you described. That's part of it. Second part of it is this. Tourism, it's our biggest industry in the state of Maine, period. The biggest industry in the state of Maine. We invest almost nothing in it, in promoting it and in developing it. We've let our roads and our bridges go to hell in a handbasket. If, if, you know, the, the, the Moosehead Lake is a gem. Moosehead Lake is our, one of our biggest tourist draws. Well, unless you come from Quebec or take a helicopter, to get to Moosehead, you drive on Route 15 from Dover, Foxcroft, up to Greenville. I've done that road now, I don't know how many times in this campaign, and let me tell you something. If you're from out of state and you come to Maine and you drive up to Greenville from Dover, Foxcroft, you're not going to come back. It's that bad. And we're not investing in our number one industry in the state. We have the state of Maine, by survey, has the second strongest brand of any state in the country after Vermont. Vermont promotes its brand. Vermont spends money on it. We don't. I was at the seafood show in Boston three weeks ago. The, 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 the Oman, Oman, this country in, you know, in, 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 in uh, yeah, yeah, far in the Middle East. <laughs> Oman, tiny little country, has a pavilion half the size of this room. There were three main booths, and they were each about this big. This is a big world, big economy. <coughs> and 
and we're not preparing ourselves or investing to compete it in the right ways. We don't have a strategy. We haven't had a strategy, and we need it. Does that answer your question? Lauren, you got a question? No, I don't. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, Todd. Um, you said that we need to invest in our roads and bridges. What's your position on the uh, bond issue that's going to be coming up on the primary ballot? Which June? one? Ah, uh, the bond. The $99 million bond issue out there. Well, no, it's not been put on the ballot yet. Yeah. And, uh, and I've, I've, I've written, <laughs> but I'm glad you asked this, Tyler. Yeah. Because this gives me a chance to really whack at something that I think is important. Okay. That is not on the ballot. And I've written, I made a statement about a week or 10 days ago saying that the process by which Libby Mitchell, I mean, this is Libby Mitchell's bill, the process by which Senator Mitchell, Senate President Mitchell, came up with those projects that she put in the bill is, shall we say, non-transparent. Did those projects, some of which are very good, including, you know, probably the railroad, <coughs> to do, but did those projects go through a budgeting process? Did those projects go through a capital budgeting process? No. You know why? Two reasons. One, because Senator Mitchell wanted to do these projects for her own purposes, I would suggest to you. And number two, we don't have a capital budgeting process in Maine today. We have a biennial budget cycle, two years. So we pass a budget, and then the next, for the following two years, we go through the shenanigans that we've been going through for the last 18 months, adjusting budgets all the way through, we don't have any, we don't have an annual budget. We need a smaller legislature, you'll be in it, Tom, you'll be in it. We need a smaller legislature that does, that meets annually, which is what they do anyway, they just pretend they don't. They have these special sessions that <coughs> go on forever, that meets annually. <coughs> that does a budget every year, and that does a separate capital budget, and that does a five-year plan. That's what you do at Margaret. That's what we ought to do in the state of Maine. And we can make that happen. These are changes that we can make, folks. They really are. This is how we get the engine going. This is how we get the boat moving again. 